Five words to e-democracy. Five words to e-democracy. The future is the future is democracy, not e-democracy. <laughs> Your uh, what does open mean to you? Open means to me institutions, public institutions, if that's what we're referring to specifically, that are able to work with the energy, enthusiasm, expertise, and passion of citizens, of communities, and of groups to solve problems together collaboratively with outcomes that really benefit people's lives. So open isn't simply about listening but not hearing. It's not simply about asking but not waiting for the response. It's also not simply about talking without a view towards the action and the outcome. I think the hopeful opportunity for institutions that are open are those that really are focused on how they work together towards real outcomes and again focused on improving people's quality of life, not simply open for its own sake. An optimistic view on e-democracy and, op and uh, open government? I'm always optimistic. The optimistic view is that in this era of tech explosion, of transition to new ways of working and living in the private sector and in the social sector, where we're moving increasingly to participating and joining and contributing in real ways to online communities, that this affords the opportunity, it decreases the costs of people actually having the opportunity to engage. And the optimistic view is that we have institutions that are evolving towards a readiness and a willingness to work with people. So that engagement isn't simply an ideal, uh, but is actually a way in which institutions come to work. Again, not because it makes for just for better democracy, but it actually makes for a better way of solving problems that serves the interests of the institutions and of the public. And the pessimistic view on the e-democracy and open government? Well, the pessimistic view is that interests uh, override and trump expertise. In other words, the pessimistic view is I may have great ways of working together online to uh, get more information, potentially. I have great ways of working online in ways that are disconnected from power and politics. You know, we spend lots of time on Facebook and we spend lots of time shopping online. But the pessimistic view is that politics is politics and that people's base human nature will ultimately trump our impulse towards collaboration and that in fact party politics, uh, money and small-minded interests will trump and that ultimately decisions will get made behind whatever the new version is of closed doors and uh, by the same old, same old people and the, uh, motivated by the same old, same old venal interests. What do you think will be the topics of CDEM 2018? Well, they're big topics that we're facing here, so I think we'll still be facing these ultimate questions that people have debated for thousands of years. The nature of democracy, what is the future of government, how do we make decisions? I think many of those won't change and they will never change. But my hope is, is that five years from now, what we actually are talking about is a much more nuanced and refined understanding of what kinds of problems lend themselves to what sorts of collaboration. What are the ways in which we can and we can't actually work together online that will We'll actually have real case studies and examples of government working with citizens in ways that actually improve people's lives, where we can talk about and tell the stories of how we improved people's wellness and health, how we achieved better outcomes in education, how we decreased poverty, how we did all the things we're striving to do, and what are the ways in which these new ways of working enabled by technology were actually part of the cause uh, and part of the solution or not. Thank you, Beth. Thank you.